Welcome back to Q Republic. Today is July 7, 2021, Wednesday. Our news highlights for today. Though S&P 500 fall as financials drag, Nasdaq at record. The Dow and S&P 500 fell on Tuesday with financials and other groups closely tied to economic growth leading declines, while the Nasdaq edged higher to another closing record. With Treasury yields down, investors may be worried the economy might not be as good as the stock market was showing. Investors may be taking profits after a strong end of the quarter and string of recent records. In other news, stocks take breather as investors cash in. Except for services, all sectors closed into red with property holding firms, industrial and financials leading the decline. The local market snapped with its three-day win streak and tumbled back to the 6,900 level despite the slower than expected inflation as investors took profits. Inflation came in 4.1% in June, which was lower than the 4.3% median estimate of the analyst. The rising oil prices pose upside risk to our inflation rate. Tuesday's performance is also seen as a show of concern of investors over the national government's rising outstanding debt level with the end May 2021 figure reaching 11.07 trillion pesos, according to Phil Stocks Financial. For our PSEI today, we closed at 6,943 and nasundan pa po ang ating selling pressure from yesterday. For our technicals, we can still say that uh, somehow we are still good, though we are on the brink of our midline dito po sa ating uptrend channel. Pero at least may uptrend channel pa rin po tayo na nakikita sa kanya that can give us a positive outlook. So kahapon po, based na rin sa ating report today, na-observe po natin na nagkaroon ng drastic move pababa ang ating S&P uh, sa US, yung, yung uh, market natin sa US o yung index natin sa US, pati na rin po yung ating oil price sa market. So maaring na damay po tayo dito sa ating uh, PSEI when it comes to the market sentiment ng ating mga investors. Pero early this morning naman, nakabawi naman kagad kahit pa paano yung ating S&P and oil markets. So hopefully, by uh, tomorrow, magka-bounce tayo sa ating market kasi sa ating PSEI naman or locally, though may concern tayo sa ating debt, uh, pero overall naman, maganda ang takbo as we are still opening our economy uh, paunti-unti kasi syempre uh, yung res- may restrictions pa rin tayo uh, kahit pa pano and uh, mas bumagal nga po ang ating inflation compared sa estimate ng ating mga analyst. So we are looking for a positive or kahit flat na movement lang by tomorrow dito sa ating PSEI. At ang mga stocks naman po na re-review natin for today, these are BHI, AC Energy, PHA, Basic Energy Corporation, GMA7, Macro Asia, Merrimart, Dito CNE, PNB and Certex. Sa mga bago pong nanonood ng video na ito, I'm inviting you to please subscribe on this channel para maging updated po kayo sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin particularly sa mga news at insights na binibigay po natin sa ating mga stocks. Like and share this video as well para makapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. And also before we proceed, I would just like to say thank you and acknowledge the following people. Thank you, Ruel Taneo, sa support and maraming salamat po sa oras ninyo. Ingat po lagi dyan sa Riyadh, Saudi and continue to be a blessing po. Thank you, Mike Miguel, uh, for your DDMPR request. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow, masama po natin yan. Thank you, Ayan from South of France. Thank you, Hilroy. Still, maganda pa rin ang galaw ni AC Energy. And si Apollo naman, nasilip natin kanina, wala pa rin tayong changes. So, always pray lagi pa rin siya. Hopefully, soon makarecover si Apollo natin. And uh, salamat po muli. And ingat po dyan sa Doha, Qatar. 
Thank you, Edna Aquino. More blessings to come po and keep safe po palagi. Thank you, Maribel Igne. Hello, LR Fontamillas from Bologna, Italy. Salamat po muli sa pag-appreciate ng ating video. Keep safe po dyan palagi. Thank you, Go 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 Healthy Life from Thailand. Hello, Wilson Ong. Uh, when it comes to BHI, sir, ang tinitignan po actually natin na uh, maximum TP area is around 0.30. So, possible naman siguro natin ma-reach itong 0.25 area provided na ma-breakout natin yung 0.20 area or kung mag-correct man tayo, huwag tayong dumiretso sa uh, downtrend channel natin. So far, so good pa naman po si BHI. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit Sir Wilson Ong at sa lahat po ng nanonood ng video natin today. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong oras. Keep safe po palagi and have a nice day. BHI closed today at 0.1400 and after po ng ating 4 straight days ng gain or green candlestick na correct po tayo today. However, we still made a higher low and higher high or high price today. So technically, malakas pa rin naman yung ating momentum despite na malakas din ang ating selling pressure since nag-form na po tayo ng ating higher low pati na rin higher eye. Intact pa rin po ang uptrend channel na binabantayan natin and we are still trading above the midline. So generally, healthy pa naman po itong ating performance for today. Tingin po tayo dito sa ating monthly time frame. Same pa rin po ang may kita nating data dito na malakas or maganda pa rin ang ating momentum for this year as itong ating 0.13 to 0.14 area last time na na-touch natin to was last 2014 and from there nag-drop na po tayo or nag-drop na po ang ating price and ngayon na lang po ulit tayo umangat dito sa level na to. So when it comes to resistances, wala naman tayo nakikita ng nearby na resistance kasi nga 2014 pa tayo last time na nandito sa area na to. Although significant siya kasi dito tayo nagkaroon ng matinding resistance last time. Balik lang po tayo dito sa ating daily time frame. With the good momentum and record high for the last 7 years plus my uptrend channel pa tayo, we can still hold our shares and add shares depending on our trading plan. So check nyo po may IG magiging options natin for BHI. AC Energy closed today at 8.67 and meron po tayong healthy pullback today. And actually, maganda yung ginawa ng market na nag-pullback kagad tayo from our good move kahapon. Compared last January 2021, na immediately po natin inabot itong 9 peso area, which naging pangit yung reaction ng ating market after. So, bigla po tayong nag-drastic uh, move pababa. Intact pa rin po itong ating malaking uptrend channel. Plus, in the short term, may ma-observe din po tayong uh, uptrend channel. So, dito... May kita natin na nag-resist tayo sa ating upper border. Same thing nang nangyari sa performance natin last June 2021. With this being said, if we are trying to accumulate shares as of the moment, we can aim around 8.60. Just right above our midline kasi last time na nag-resist tayo, nasundan pa siya ng panibagong decline. So may chance na bumaba pa tayo sa 8.60 area tomorrow. Pero breaking down, Itong ating support level sa may 8.56 area, medyo hindi naman natin siya ina-anticipate kasi dito sa short term uptrend channel natin, malapit na yung moving average na natin sa 8.56 area. And last June 2021, until moving average 9 lang yung ating nagiging low. So hanggang 8.60 pa lang naman po yung tinitingnan natin na possible. Uh, low natin. So check niyo po may IG yung magiging options natin for AC Energy. PHA close today at 1.63. Weak momentum and weak volume pa rin po ang ating ma-observe with immediate resistance dito sa ating moving average 9. After po natin mag-indecision candlestick kahapon, ang naging result po natin today is uh, still a decline. So we can now say na itong ating 1.64 area is is our new resistance sa ngayon and unfortunately uh, based sa reaction ng ating market hindi pa po natin kakayanin mag-trade 
above it and we can look forward to our next support around 1.50 area or dito po sa ating green line na moving average 200. Be cautious lang po sa pagkuha ng shares dito kay PHA as of the moment as we are not expecting a good move sa kanya uh, since uh, mahina nga po yung ating momentum. So check ni po maigi yung magiging options natin for PHA. BSC close today 0.77 and same with PHA, weak momentum and low volume po tayo sa kanya with immediate resistance din po sa ating moving average 9 or dito po ngayon sa may area ng 0.77. Meeting, uh, meeting up and bending down din po ang ating observation sa ating mga moving averages which is indicating of upcoming low price para kay BSC kasi medyo pababa na po or na, yun nga po, bending down na yung ating moving averages so same po kay PHA we can look forward in meeting our moving average 200 dito po sa ating green line near so may 0.70 area in the coming trading days be cautious lang din po sa pagkuha ng shares kay BSC as of the moment as we are not expecting any good any good move kay BSC sa ngayon so check niyo po may igay yung magiging options natin for basic energy corporation GMA 7 close today at 13.90 and we are in the correction phase as of the moment may kita natin na it seems marami nang nagpa-profit uh, taking as of the moment dahil pa na yung red candlesticks ang ginagawa at tuluyang nanghina ang ating momentum as we cross down our moving average 9. So since uh, May 28, dito po sa ating uh, magandang paggalaw sa kanya, noong May 28 onwards, puro above moving average 9 po tayo dito kay GMA. So more than one month na po tayo may good move and it seems to me na pwede pang uh, magtuloy ang ating correction the least hanggang 13 peso area malapit sa ating moving average 20. So since some buwan mahigit na nga po tayo merong magandang paggalaw baka it's time to correct muna si GMA as of uh, the, uh, the moment. And uh, the reason why we said na hanggang 13 peso yung possible na maging least na pagbaba natin kasi normally pag nawawalan na momentum ang isang stock magbe-breakdown siya at least up to moving average 20 and uh, the most is uh, my moving average 50 and on this instance para kay GMA and dito po siya banda sa may 12 peso area which is nasa mga 20 to 30 percent pa lang naman siya pwedeng mangyari sa ngayon so hindi pa po natin siya uh, in-anticipate na mangyayari dahil uh, we are still looking for uh, this moving average 20 na maging uh, magandang support natin. So we can speculate in the coming trading days pwede pa bumaba si GMA until uh, 13 and from there we have to re-evaluate if uh, GMA will be strong enough uh, to bounce or magbe-breakdown pa ba tayo dito sa may 12 peso area. So check nyo po may IG magiging options natin for GMA 7. Macro Asia closed today at 5.44 and we can see na ang major resistance natin sa ngayon is itong 6 peso area which is after nating itouch, nag-breakdown or correction po uh, tayo. So kung measure po natin ang ating downside from our high until dito sa ating moving average 50, bumaba na po tayo ng roughly 16%. When it comes to our support area, nakikita natin na nagsusupport tayo around 5.24 area or dito po sa ating moving average 50. Pero at the same time, nagre-resist tayo sa moving average 9 and yung immediate uh, resistance natin and yung candlesticks natin today is uh, somehow may pagka-indecision na close lang tayo ng slightly lower today sa ating opening price. So medyo alanganin pang sabihin na strong support na itong ating moving average 50. So looking back dito sa ating uh, previous performance last March and February 2021 nung nag-resist din po tayo sa 6 peso area tuluyan pa po tayong nag-downtrend until 4 peso area. So ito po yung uh, isa sa mga tinitingnan natin na possible red flag para kay Macro Asia. So if ever 
uh, try muna nating observe itong ating 5.24 area this week or until next and see if uh, this will be strong enough bago tayo bumili ng shares if ever kasi if not uh, check lang po natin itong ating monthly time frame ang nakita po natin na strong support dito is uh, dito po sa may area natin na around 4.92 or psychological area dito sa 5 pesos so check nyo po may igi magiging options natin for macro Asia Mary Mart closed today at 4.04 and nasa bottom area na po tayo ng ating box na binabantayan dito rin po sa area na to na consolidate tayo last time prior tayo nagkaroon ng magandang move or pagtaas looking our performance today meron tayong indecision candlestick and uh, with immediate resistance dito sa ating moving average 9 as it seems na wala tayong masyadong reaction sa market though green volume tayo today pero hindi po siya ganoon kalakihan compared uh, last time last May uh, May 19 very noticeable din po na nag-cross down na ang ating moving average na yan sa ating 4.25 area kasi kung titingnan natin last time nung nagkaroon tayo ng magandang move nasa taas pa siya ng 4.25 area so um, indicating na mahina po talaga ang ating momentum as of uh, the moment so although nasa bottom area na tayo ng ating box we still need to be careful in buying of shares as we have a weak momentum and not so good or reactive volume sa kanya If we can observe muna this week or until next and see if itong 4 peso or 3.87 area will be strong enough bago po tayo bumili ng share sa kanya. So check nyo po may igi yung magiging options natin for Mary Mart. Dito CME close today at 8.88 and after po natin mag double tap dito sa ating 8.88 area kahapon, nag line naman po kagad tayo today. So right below sa ating moving average na dyan po tayo nagkaroon ng resistance. So in a sense, uh, tatlong beses na po natin tinatap itong uh, 8.88 area pero hindi siya good sign as we encountered an immediate block considering that we are looking for a positive move sana. Uh, intact pa rin po itong ating descending triangle or downtrend channel and at the same time, meron tayong good support around 8.70 area na malapit po sa ating moving average 200. So generally, weak momentum and low volume po tayo. So if ever, uh, try po muna nating uh, bantayan itong 8.70 area or pwede tayo siguro mag-test by dito sa 8.70 area as we are maintaining uh, this support naman in the short term. So kapag uh, na-breakdown yan, Uh, alam natin na hindi talaga magiging matibay ang 8.70 and patuloy pa rin po natin ma-observe itong ating descending triangle. So check nyo po maigi magiging options natin for dito CME. PNB close today 22.90 and sa ngayon po ay nag-range tayo sa tight area natin within 22 peso area. So, uh, nagde-range po tayo dito since June 2021. So, more than one month na po tayo andito sa current range natin. So, ang good side po naman na nakikita natin dito, meron tayong good support sa ating lower border sa may bandang 22.30. Pero ang bad side na nakikita natin is nagre-resist tayo sa moving average 50 which is in a sense, nag-form tayo ng lower high from June 15 kasi nag-bend down itong ating moving average 50. So, bumababa yung ating price. Sa ngayon po, iwasan muna natin yung pagkuha ng shares malapit sa moving average 50 and aim tayo malapit sa 22.30 area and more patience yung kailangan natin as we are in low volume so wala po tayong may expect na magandang galaw as of the moment. So, check nyo po may igi magiging options natin for PNB. Certec closed at 5.55 and mas lumakas pa po ang ating selling pressure today based na rin po yan dito sa ating volume and candlestick. Medyo malayo tayo ngayon sa ating moving averages so if ever ingat tayo sa possible bounce play na pwedeng mag-resist immediately sa ating 5.80 
area. Sa ngayon po, we are still in the correction phase. So, more on test buy ang pwede natin gawin. Kasi meron pa tayong pwedeng iba pa sa may 5.20 area. Especially, mahina pa rin yung na-observe nating momentum. And more on selling pressure pa rin tayo sa kanya. So, check niyo po may ige magiging options natin for certain. And that's it for today. Kung nagustuhan niyo po itong video na ito, please don't forget to like it and share it as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. And also, kung meron po kayong additional information or thoughts dito sa review na to, comment nyo lang po yan para makatulong din po or makapagbigay information din po tayo sa iba. At sa inyo po na gustong magpa-review ng kanilang mga stocks, comment nyo lang din po yan para may isama po natin sa ating next session. And sa mga bago po nanonood ng video na ito, don't forget to subscribe para lagi po kayo maging updated sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin. Maraming maraming salamat po. I'll see you soon. Q Republic.